it is depressing getting an English degree. You only end up in a call centre. Well, there's a certain irony that after four years studying Shakespeare, my life has just become a fucking tragedy. <laughs> It's a shy job, shy job, I call it. It's one of those sort of jobs that all the staff hate doing the job, and the company knows the staff hate doing the job. So what they need to do is motivate the staff in all different sort of ways, right? What they do in our work is they put us in these teams, and they name all the teams after like, different inspirational people. So you get teams named like Martin Luther King, or John F. Kennedy, John Lennon. All quite appropriate, considering the best you can hope for in these places, is that somebody will fucking assassinate you. <laughs> I'm always trying to sit near the window. I'm like, I just want to get a good look at that grassy knoll outside there. <laughs> you know you're doing a shit job as well. Like, when everything you do gets monitored right down to the second, right? Like, in our work, we don't allow five minutes during the shift to go to the bathroom. Now, my seat is a minute away from the bathroom and a minute back, and they call this a comfort break. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried to do a shite in under three minutes. <laughs> That's not exactly my idea of comfort. It's <laughs> customer service side though, so like, you know, like, I don't phone people out, like, but if you've got a problem with your car insurance, I'm the guy you need to speak to. You know, to ask, to speak to a manager. That's you know, what's but it's, uh, it's hard, it's hard working customer service on the phones and all that. Particularly when you're Scottish, right? Because like, I'll have guys with like Indian accents phone up and ask me to pass them on to someone who can speak proper English, and I'm always just like. <laughs> Me, me and you have got to stick together here. Us, us difficult to understand accents have got to stay strong. But if you insist, I will pass you through at our English call centre. Jokes and him, no, they're based in Newcastle, so... Good luck with that. Well, when you do a repetitive job, it's always the small things that get on your nerves. Like, whenever I take payments from people, I always need to ask them, oh, how does your name appear on the card? See if I have one more person say, in capital letters. <laughs> Off my fucking nut. I know it appears in capital letters. Every card has your name in capital letters. You'd be as well going, it appears in the modern Roman alphabet. <laughs> Don't get me wrong though, right? I know it is a nightmare if you ever need to phone one of these places, right? I know it is, but one bit of advice I'll give you, right? You see the next time you need to phone a call centre, please don't take your anger out on the person on the other end of the phone. Because see, no matter what this company have done to make you angry, that pales in comparison to the level of anger the person on the other end of the phone <laughs> has for that company. <laughs> Doesn't matter what your complaint is, you could be going, your company are a disgrace. You charged me an admin fee, I've been on hold for 40 minutes. The person on the other end of the phone just wants to go, listen mate, that is fuck all. <laughs> I get disciplined for taking four minutes to do a shite. 